Good evening everybody, this is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And today we're taking the Beretta A300 Ultima Patrol to the range. Uh, if you are a subscriber of the channel, these boxes of ammo might look kind of familiar to you because this is the exact same ammunition uh, with the exception of this Fiocchi on the left that we ran through the AK Pattern 12 gauge that we tested about oh, four or five months ago on the channel. I'm really excited to see how well the uh, Breda A300 Patrol is going to perform. We've got a variety of different velocity. Um, there's really nothing that I've seen in the manual that says that you can't run lower velocity ammunition, stuff that runs around 1200 feet per second, but we'll see how well it cycles. Uh, one of the reasons why it's taken me so long to get this video put together is one, because of the weather. I don't like to film in the middle of blizzards, and two, I have been waiting for this to show up in the mail. Now, just in the uh, nature of full disclosure, the ammunition, the shotgun, everything was bought by me out of pocket, nothing was given to me by Beretta or Federal. And according to the larger YouTube channels, they were told by Beretta or Federal, one of the two, that that A300 Patrol was developed around this particular load. This is the Federal Premium Law Enforcement Tactical Double Op Buck. Now you can buy this online. Uh, it runs at 1325 feet per second. It's got nine pellets of Double Op Buck. Now there's other ammunition like this that you can go buy in the store. The difference is that this has the fly control wad, which, and it also has a, a copper plated hardened shot. The idea is that it has a more compact, more precise delivery of its payload. Now, again, that's kind of a different philosophy than what you get on some of the other buckshot I'm about to show you where you might want a little more of a spread. So this is designed to give you, and it's actually referred to as precision shotgun ammo, which is kind of an interesting, almost like an oxymoron, because you don't really think of precision, you think of a nice, you know, nice spread, something that's gonna do some damage. Uh, but this is going to contain the shot. So we'll see how well this patterns. Now, just as a comparison, Federal does make something sort of similar to it. Uh, this is the Federal Power Shock that does run at the same velocity. It does have nine pellets of double op buck, um, but it does not have, I believe it doesn't have the flight control wad to it. It doesn't say so on the box. So we're gonna pattern these two together and see how well it performs. Now also tested on the channel with that AK pattern um, shotgun is some Winchester uh, 12 gauge that also runs at 1325 for velocity feet per second and has nine pellets of double lot bucks. So we'll see, I'm really interested to see how well these two pattern. We'll be patterning at around 10 to 12 yards, whatever the board is set at, is set at at the range. We'll see how well the shotgun functions. I'm hoping we don't have any issues with it. Uh, a couple things I've run into so far with the shotgun was the sling swivel mounts. Um, they're a little bit, they're set a little bit deep on the, on the stock or that particular mount set deep on the stock. Uh, so I did buy some blue force gear um, swivel mounts that I or some swivels that I put on it A couple people said you might be able to just back the mount out with an allen key I never thought of that um, But I do want that mount in there as tight as possible But some people say you can turn it a quarter turn and it will clear the other thing that was a little disheartening not the end of the world But when I was uh, taking the shotgun apart to clean it uh, I flipped it over on its side just sat it on the mat and the screw fell out of the top uh, the rear screw that holds the uh, the ghost ring side in place just fell out. It was almost like it wasn't even screwed in place. Like it was just sitting in the top. So I went ahead and screwed it down and torqued it properly. The threads were tapped properly. It just wasn't, I don't know how they didn't realize the screw didn't get tightened properly. I mean, when you tighten a screw, you know when to stop, right? Or you should if you have any kind of mechanical aptitude. So we'll see. Hopefully the shotgun holds up well. I'm not too worried about it. A few people are maybe questioning the, uh, the durability of the welds on the... Uh, the op rod, the, the sleeve that goes around the, the magazine tube. So we'll see, I've got perfect faith that it's gonna run well. So we'll just go ahead and do three, uh, three rounds at a time uh, for each type of ammunition. We'll just let the video go the whole time and just kind of talk our way through it. And uh, we'll see how well it performs. We do have some three inch ammo we're gonna run, some Winchester Super X, three inch, uh, one and three eighths ounce shot with BB steel shot in it. So hopefully it runs well. And it does run a modified cylinder from the factory. And that's the only uh, choke tube you get with it. So. Without further, further ado, let's go ahead and hit the range. Let's go ahead and get started and see how it cycles the Federal LE. Here we go. All right, so the kick is really not that bad. Um, it is very comfortable to shoot. Here we go, Winchester Expert Steel Shot. Yeah, much lighter. No cycling issues at all. Nothing's coming loose on it. All right, here we go, uh, Winchester Light Target Load. Not sure about the velocity on this, so we're just gonna run it. 
Oh yeah. Very, very comfortable. Very, very good. That gas system does a great job mitigating the recoil. Field and target. Federal field and target. Multi-purpose load. Walmart special. Super light. No cycling issues. So far, so good. Everything's holding up well. Nothing's coming loose. So, Fioki target max. 1,200 feet per second. Yeah. Super lightweight. All right, here we go. Winchester super target. 1,200 feet per second. Here we go, Winchester dry lock. Oh man, I'll tell you what, I could shoot this thing all day. The recoil on it is so light, especially if you're an experienced shotgunner, this thing is just gonna be gold. It just locks it into place, no movement whatsoever. Awesome. All right, here we go. Woo, that kicks. Yeah. Wow, okay. All right guys, so here we go. We're gonna go and do some patterning with the Federal LE initially, the uh, Federal Power Shock second. And the Winchester uh, nine pellet double lock block third. And then... All right. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and take the targets home and see how they did. Okay, so let's take a look at that accuracy at 12 yards. The Federal LE flight control uh, nine pellets, six inches at 12 yards, and this is going from the widest span to the widest span in any possible combination. I'd say that's pretty solid. It's also very consistent with what I've seen on other YouTube channels that have tested the shotgun with this type of ammunition. Again, I believe it's a modified cylinder choke tube that's in it. Now, I will say this, these holes are pretty sizable, so I'm going to assume that we had two pellets pass through here and two pellets pass through here in order to get everything to add up to nine. So we're gonna assume that those are it because there's nothing else on the board. There was nothing else around the board. Again, that is a fairly uh, tight group. Remember, that's running not a full choke, but a modified choke tube. So that's, that's pretty uh, promising stuff. And again, that's at 12 yards. All right, up next, also you could say is a higher velocity round, the Federal Power Shock without the flight control wad. Uh, we're looking at eight inches at 12 yards. It's still respectable, but had a tendency to pattern more off to the right a little bit. Basically, I was putting the uh, fiber optic sight right on the black dot, and this is where it was landing. So this was, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pellets at uh, eight inches for a spread. I'd say that's pretty respectable. So again, you can see how far it stretched out, but there's a good bulk of them that were right here towards the center. And again, that's uh, totally that's totally good to go. And last but not least, the Winchester, uh, double out buck, nine pellets. I call this a uh, minute of buck accuracy. Just, just joking, guys. All right, so 11 and a half inches at 12 yards. It goes all the way up to the very top, to the very bottom. But we still have four, four pellets that are in a nice tight group. One, two, three, four, five. About a five or six inch spread, which is respectable. And then a few more that kind of spread out a little bit. Now, again, this is just 12 yards. Remember, it's going to spread out probably even more as the uh, distances increase. So just keep that in mind. So that's the Winchester uh, 12 gauge 9 pellet double eye buck. All right, let's go and bring it back for just a few final words. All right, guys, so that's it. That's my quick little range test of the Beretta A300 Ultima Patrol. I had a great time shooting it. And uh, really, you know, I tried to get a good variety of ammunition out there to see how well it would cycle. It had no issues whatsoever. The gas system runs great on it. Uh, ergonomics are wonderful. It's got a nice aggressive texture, like I mentioned before, on the hand grip and also on that pistol grip. And it really does stay planted, even with those gloves that I was wearing, which are not the best, but they were just something to keep my hands warm as it was freezing out there today. Um, it just ran like a champ. So we're going to keep on playing around with it and trying it out. Uh, again, held up together, no problems whatsoever. So is it better than the A1301? You know, you probably want to test both of them, especially extensively, because we're talking about shotguns that run over $1,000. Uh, there are some advantages that the A1301 has over the A300, you know, but there's a price difference between the two, so you go with what's going to work best for you. Uh, don't forget to check us out on Caliber Corner, which is a podcast that we do Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. Uh, over here on YouTube, uh, 8 a.m. Central Time. We talk guns and ammo, so make sure you check it out. Uh, but in the meantime, I want you guys to have fun. I want you to be safe, and as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.